Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Apple Watch Series 7. So let's take this out. Got this with a solo band, blue color solo band. That's the C7 box. Right, let's take this out. So this is the C7 Starlight color aluminium case 45 millimeter okay so this contains the quick setup guide and if you Warranty documents. And that's the charging pad. That's the series seven watch in starlight color. Let's take this out. Okay, let's get the silicon band on the watch. So let's take the silicon band out. So it's called the Abyss Blue Solo Loop. the band there guys oh oh now they call it the loop okay so that's that Let's turn the thing on. So you turn it on using the button here. Okay, it's saying it's low on battery and to charge it. Okay, let's charge the Apple Watch and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I got the watch charged up. So I'll just run through a few features of the Series 7. So in terms of charging, it's 33% faster than the Series 6 watch. It comes in five aluminium colors, green, blue, red, starlight and midnight so this one's a starlight color and the watch size is 45 millimeters so and it requires iphone 6s or ios 15 on your phone in order to pair this with your iphone so it pairs are always on retina display so it can measure blood oxygen levels, check the heart rate, take an ECG as well. And it's uh, water resistant up to 50 meters and has an IP6S dust re resistant rating as well. All right, let's bring an 
iPhone close to this to pair this up. Okay. And keep it like that. And you're gonna select English as the language. Select the country. Setting up the language. Okay, now it's saying open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone and start pairing. It's gonna, I'm gonna open up the app. So this iPhone already has an Apple Watch paired with it. So I'm gonna tap on all watches. And then I'm gonna tap on add watch All right so it's come to a screen that says set up apple watch i'm going to tap on set up for myself and then it's saying position the apple watch in the frame so it can scan the image Just gonna do that now Okay, now it's starting the pair up. Okay, now it's saying your Apple Watch is paired. Restore from backup or set up as a new Apple Watch. Set this up as a new Apple Watch. I'm not going to restore from the backup. So now it's on the wrist preference screen. It's going to tap on right and hit continue. Now it's asking for the digital crown orientation so I'm gonna hit top and continue okay agree to the terms and conditions watch analytics I'm gonna tap on don't share this is the shared settings screen and tap on ok Okay, this is the text size. I'm just gonna leave it on the default settings and hit continue. Uh, this is the accessibility screen. I'm gonna leave assistive touch turned on and tap on continue. Alright, I'm gonna set a passcode and I'll be right back. Okay, I've Enter the passcode on the watch. Now I'm on the blood oxygen page. So I'm going to tap on enable. And with the updates, I'll, I'm going to tap on install updates manually. So the next screen is the Apple Pay page. I'll tap on continue. Okay, it'll show any cards that are in your Apple Pay account. So I'm going to tap on continue on this screen. Right now it's asking for the iPhone passcode for watch. Okay, now it's on the emergency SOS screen. So you can hold down the side button to call emergency services. So I'm going to tap on continue. So next step is the mobile setup. You can use your Apple Watch uh, to make and receive calls. So I'm going to tap on set up mobile now. Okay, so I've completed that step. So I'm going to tap on continue on this screen. Always on display. I'm going to tap on continue. So on the app screen, I'm going to tap on install all and then the app view, I'm going to um, keep it on the grid view as per default. So it's saying the Apple Watch is almost ready and get to know your watch. So I'm going to tap on that. 
Great, so that's paired now guys. So okay now I need to just tap on done on the app here. Um so it's just syncing. If you look at the watch now, you can see that it's syncing up, you can see the progress bar going across. Okay guys, it's nearly done. Great. All right, it's all set up. So, it's the default display on the phone, oh, on the Apple Watch Series 7. Okay, it's come up with the tips now. Uh, swipe there and say dismiss. And if you hit the digital crown, you'll see all the apps. Guys, it's really fast. Let me just get an Apple Watch Series 4 and show you the difference in the size. So guys, the one on the right is an Apple Watch Series 4 and this is the new on the left is the Series 7 so you can see there so between the 44 millimeters so this one's 44 millimeters and this one's 45 the Series 7 so it's just a one millimeter difference so can't see any huge difference even in the settings area so so it's basically the same icons on here so that's how you set up your new apple series series 7 watch so if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section below happy to answer them so thank you for watching guys please give it a thumbs up so that other people can see the video it helps a lot and see you in the next video guys thanks for watching